How to be an author. If you really want to be an author, then you have to be prepared to spend many hours a day trying to generate original and exciting ideas. You may have to wake up before the crack of dawn before you start your real job. You may have to scribble your ideas on the train ride home. Some of these hours will be frustrating, but others will be more rewarding than you can imagine. And the feeling of writing a book and sending it out into the world can be one of the best in the world. Do you think you have what it takes to really be an author? Follow these steps to find out. Developing your writing skills. Read everything you can. This may not be what you want to hear when you want to hear about the exciting life of being an author, but reading will be the key to your success. Reading everything you can will not only help you develop your writing skills, give you more ideas for how to craft your work, and help you develop the patience you need to write a book of your own, but it will also give you a better sense of what is selling in the market. Set aside a few hours a day to read as many books as you can, and try to read widely in as many genres as you can. If you already have an idea of what genre you want to write in, whether it's science fiction or non-fiction, you should focus on reading books in that genre. However, to become more well-read in general, you should read widely when you can. The more you read, the more you'll become attuned to common cliches. You want your book to stand out, so if you find 10 books that are too much like it, you may have to find a different angle. When you find a book you really like, ask yourself what it is that makes it so special to you. Is it the ridiculous main character? The beautiful prose? The sense of place? The more you can pinpoint why you like a book, the sharper you will be when you try to make your own work appeal to a wide audience. Start small. If you want to be an author, then you will most likely have to start off by publishing a full-length work of non-fiction or a novel. It's very difficult to sell a collection of short stories or essays as your first work. Having said that, it's also difficult to jump right into a novel or a full-length work of non-fiction. So, if fiction is your thing, try your hand at writing some short stories first to help yourself get a feel of the craft. If you're more into nonfiction, try to write a short essay before you jump into an entire work of nonfiction. This is not to say that short stories are somehow inferior to novels. Alice Munro, the winner of the 2013 Nobel Prize in Literature, never published a novel during the entire course of her illustrious career. Still, it is a lot harder to gain a reputation in short stories these days, too. Consider receiving a degree in writing. If you want to publish a work of literary fiction or nonfiction, then getting an MA or MFA in fiction or nonfiction is the typical route to follow. If you want to write something more commercial, such as a science fiction or romance novel, then this route is less necessary, though it can still be helpful. Getting a degree in creative writing can initiate you into the life of a writer, get you in a community of other like-minded writers who give helpful feedback, and will also give you two or three years to focus on your craft. Many successful writers who publish their books find work as teachers at MFA or undergraduate writing programs. You'll need a degree in creative writing to do this, so if this is your endgame, consider getting the degree. Getting a degree in creative writing can also help you get your foot in the door in terms of connections. You'll meet faculty members that may be able to help you publish your work or develop as a writer in other ways. The writing degree is not a direct path to success as a writer. But it can help you improve your craft significantly. Get some feedback. If you've chosen to enroll in a writing program, then you'll be spending plenty of time at writing workshops, where you will receive ample feedback from your peers. You will have also worked independently with faculty and received feedback from them individually. But if you have not gone this route, then you should join a writing group in your community, take a writing workshop offered by a local community college or adult school, or even just ask a few trusted friends to take a look at your work. Though feedback should always be taken with a grain of salt, getting feedback will give you a better sense of where you stand. Getting feedback will help you realize if your work is publication ready, or if you have more work to do. You have to make sure that you're asking the right readers, people who really get your work and know what you're about. Start submitting your work to small publications. If you have some short stories or essays that you think are ready to be sent out into the world, then you should try your hand at submitting them to literary journals or journals that publish work in your genre, such as journals that specialize in historical fiction or romance. Check out duotrope.com to get an idea of all of the journals out there. All you have to do is get your manuscript in order and send a brief cover letter to the editor of the journal, after that, you play the waiting game. This will be your first exposure to something common to the writer, lots of rejection. Try not to take it personally and consider it a way of thickening your skin. Some journals charge a $2-3 fee for submitting your work. This is a pain, but it doesn't mean the journals are trying to rob you, they are often run on a shoestring budget. 